Hello everyone. Welcome to Salesforce Helping Hand channel. My name is Rahul Prajapati. I'm a senior Salesforce CPQ and a billing cloud developer. I having more than seven years of experience and I'm helping many students to get their job and helping in, you know, mock interview and uh, helping them guide, uh, guiding them like how they can prepare for the interview, what kind of uh, topics they can pre prepare for interview. And I'm also uh, in interview panel in TCS. So guys, let me share my screen and discuss the questions for today. Okay. So here, let's go to the page. Yes, here we go. So guys, today's surprising. We are going to share with you Salesforce Billing Cloud interview question and answer, which are recently asked. So this is very important topic as I, as I know, because I faced this kind of challenge and I couldn't find found any data on YouTube related to the Salesforce billing cloud. So basically first question they asked to me personally, what is the billing Salesforce billing? So Salesforce billing is an extensive of Salesforce CPQ. When we talk about the Salesforce billing, so it is the extension part of CPQ. Why? Because when we talk about code to case, okay. So code generation to collect the cash from the client. So this is called the Salesforce uh, billing. I mean, complete revenue cloud, if we can say. So CPQ that handle the invoicing, payments, and revenue recognitions and subscriptions renewal and within Salesforce, okay? So what are the key features, you know, for the Salesforce billing cloud? So Salesforce billing cloud key features are invoice generation, payment processing, tax handling, and subscription billing. So this questions is very, very important. You can just try to read in, you know, depth and all. Okay. So how does Salesforce CPQ and billing work together? That is very important questions because uh, both are related to each other and uh, then it will be within the combined package. Okay. So how it help? you know, CPQ means configure price and code, handle the code creation, price calculations, and uh, you know some product uh, bundle and all you know bundle kind of things it handle we'll, if we'll talk about you know salesforce billing it take over the after code is accepted by the client and then handling invoicing payment and revenue recognitions okay what are the key object in salesforce billing so key objects are invoice invoice line payment payment uh, uh, allocation uh, that is not there, but credit note, credit note line, credit note allocations, billing treatment, and revenue recognition rule, tax rules. So these are very important object in Salesforce. And of course, uh, these are the standard object. You may can create some custom object as per your business requirement. The next question, guys, what are the different type of billing model in Salesforce billing? So to answer this question, there are four types of uh, Salesforce models in Salesforce billing. So that is one time billing. So which is called charge once and product sales. The second one is recurring billing subscription based. I mean, so we will take the example of subscription based is let's say you purchase an uh, hot star uh, or we can say, you know, some Netflix uh, <clears throat> uh you know license from their company so after you know one year six months so how much uh, days you just got it so then you know uh you want to renew it so that's what it's called uh you know uh, recurring billing so that means you have to pay it again every year or every month accordingly like uh you know it will be quarterly or it will be yearly or it will be you know uh monthly it's totally totally depend the package you are purchasing third one is users based billing so build based on the consumptions example cloud storage and fourth one is milestone billing build at a project milestone now next move to the questions what is payment gateway in salesforce billing so payment gateway is an integration with third party providers like paypal stripe or authorized.net is process payment inside the salesforce billing so what happen actually and why it is required you know let's say you generate the invoice right and that invoice is going you, you are going to send to the client right and at that time you are sending one link to the client so they can click on that link and as per the invoice they can make the payment 
through the credit card or through the you know uh, upi or whatever is can i mean the methods are defined by the business so accordingly they can make the payment okay so tricky part for this question is many assume salesforce billing has a built in payment processor but it required third party integrations so guys uh, it is tricky part means i mean that is not like payment you are making so using the third third party application that salesforce does not support but yes using the integration you can make it and uh, the payment record then get created into the salesforce okay so how does salesforce billing handle tax calculation which is very very important in salesforce so salesforce billing can integrate with third party tax engine like avlera vertex or tax jar to automatically apply taxes based on the customer location product taxability rules and tax assumptions so guys these all are the you know criteria which is uh, very uh, country to country state to state right so because definitely uh, each and every country has you know their different criteria to define the taxes so that's what there are these criteria uh, i mean are there okay so now let's move to the next question is what is revenue recognition feature in salesforce billing so revenue recognition ensure revenue is recorded correctly over a time instead of being recognized at the time of billing so what steps are you know required to make this first step define the re uh, revenue schedule second step is use revenue recognition rule and distribute revenue over a time third one is general revenue transactions to financial reporting so guys these three steps are required to make ensure revenue is recorded correctly over a time okay now the next question is how do you automate invoice generation in salesforce billing question i am repeating again how do you automate invoice generate generation in salesforce billing so that's pretty simple set up a billing rule to auto generate invoice then use billing treatment to define invoice frequency and third is use trigger flow to send invoice automatically why because you know there you you need automation right and or might be you need you know some button so when you click on some button it should uh, go to uh, i mean uh, trigger to customers okay so now let's move to the next question how does salesforce billing handle subscription and renewal billing automatically renew subscription when the contract term end and use is contracted pricing to maintain consistent pricing generate renewal invoice automatically based on the renewal rule okay so the next question guys what are the billing treatments in salesforce billing billing treatment define how invoice and payment are processed so there are three types of uh, we can say i mean uh, billing treatment standard treatment prepaid treatment and postpaid treatment so standard treatment is nothing but regular invoicing whatever the regular invoicing so that's come under the standard treatment second one is prepaid treatment so prepaid treatment is nothing but customer pay before invoice okay now move to the third one which is called postpaid treatment so postpaid treatment is customer pay after invoice okay so guys this is the uh, about treatments now let's move to the customer so basically they ask some scenario based question obviously uh so the scenario was is a customer purchase multiple subscription throughout the month instead of receiving separate invoice they want one invoice in invoice at the end of month so the requirement is in let's say uh, you know uh, you are purchasing from one shop multiple products let's say uh, there is one you know kind of some daily use items every day you are purchasing sometime you are purchasing so sometime you are purchasing you know uh, some rice and all these kind of but at the end you want the what we can say invoice or you can say bill right so that what's how you configure in salesforce billing so use invoice consolidation for this and enable invoice consolidation uh, consolidation in billing settings group invoice by account or order <clears throat> okay and then schedule a monthly billing run to generate one invoice per month okay so these are the standard features of salesforce uh, cpq billing cloud which help you to make this uh, scenario feasible okay 
now let's move to the next question guys which is you know uh the question was asked is related to the ported billing for subscription upgrade and the question was is a customer upgrade from a basic plan which is you know 50 dollar per month to pro plan 100 per month right midway through the billing cycle so billing cycle is basically set initially which is annually or you can say uh yearly or you can say monthly and uh So such periods are there, you can set it accordingly as per the business requirement. So how you will be calculated? So calculate prorated charges for the remaining days, generate an adjustment invoice for the upgraded amount and update the next billing cycle amount. Okay. So this is the answer for this question. Now let's move to the next question, guys. A customer is incorrectly charged $500. You need to issue a refund or credit in Salesforce billing. How will you do this? So navigate to the invoice create a credit note for $500 and apply the credit note to the next invoice or process a refund. So this is the, you know, process to make a refund record in Salesforce or, you know, to process actually business things. So now let's move to the next question, which is called multi-currency billing. So the question was asked is a global company sell a product in, you know, USD, EUR, GBP. So these are the currencies, which is, you know, uh, very country to country. So how do you configure multi-currency billing in Salesforce? So the answer was is very easy. So what do you have to do? You have to enable multi-currency in Salesforce, use dated exchange rate to handle currency fluctuations, assign price book by currency. Third one is ensure invoice are generated in the correct currency. Okay. There are three steps guys. First step, use dated exchange rate to handle currency fluctuation. Third, second one is assign price book by currency. And third one is ensure invoices are generated in the correct currency. Okay. So these all are the steps. Now let's move to the next questions. <clears throat> so basically, uh, how can Salesforce billing automatically collect payments after an invoice is generated? Okay. So what do you have to do? You have to integrate with Stripe, PayPal or Authorized.net. So these applications, third party application basically. And then what do you have to do? Enable auto pay on the customer record. And third one is use billing runs to process payment automatically. So what is billing schedule in Salesforce billing? A billing schedule define when and how an invoice is generated over a time. And the type is fixed schedule and milestone based. So invoice generated at a fixed interval. Example monthly invoice generated after completing the project phase. Okay. So how does Salesforce billing support subscription management, subscription renewal, order manual, mid cycle upgraded downgrades with prorations and recurring billing automations via billing runs. Now the last question is how do you handle partial payment in Salesforce billing, create a payment record for the partial pay partial amount, the invoice remain partially paid until full payment is received use payment allocation to split payment across multiple invoices uh evergreen subscription don't fixed end date and key effect is no ex no ex uh, expirations continue until the cancelled right billing happen regularly use recurring billing setting in salesforce how do you handle revenue recognition for multi-year contracts so the answer is use revenue schedule to allocate revenue over a multiple periods define revenue recognition rule to distribute revenue properly and generate uh, revenue transactions to ensure compliance. Okay. Now let's move to the next question is a customer is a uh, hundred dollar month plan midway through the cycle. They upgrade, you know, uh, one fifty dollar per month. How does Salesforce billing note this? Calculate the remaining period at the old price, calculate the remaining period at the new price, generate the adjustment in which to the difference. Now the question is a company has multiple subsidiaries instead of separate invoice for each child account. Uh, they want one invoice for the parent account. So what you have to do use invoice consolidation, enable invoice consolidation in billing settings, link child account to parent account uh, hierarchies, ensure billing runs consolidate invoice the parent account. Now the next question is. A customer accidentally paid $1,000 instead of $500. How do you handle this in Salesforce billing? Create a credit note, generate a credit note for $500, apply it to the next invoice or process to refund. So as per the customer requirement.
customer pay in different currencies a customer is in invoice in usd but they pay in the euro how do you manage this set up the data exchange rate ensure payment allocation convert currency correctly use multi currency report to track the foreign exchange rates okay automating late payment fee so a customer has an overdue invoice you need to automatically charge the late fee so how do you do this uh, use late fee automations configure late fee automation in billing settings up to auto invoice adjustment to apply fees use billing run to trigger the late fees so guys these all are the questions in billing cloud which is recently asked by interview and definitely i'm also taking uh, interview in some of the projects so these are the some questions uh, please try to explore it more if you really like this video if you want more please subscribe my youtube channel also comment stay tuned to the salesforce helping hand channel thank you so much guys thank you bye